So in the last tutorial, we managed to draw the back checkered background onto our animation activity 002. And we're gonna make things look a bit more interesting by drawing some more paths and objects onto it. Now we go into our animation activity 002 layout. Before we draw anything, we need to prep some paint brushes and define a path. And we've done this before with the triangle in two tutorials back. So at the very top, we're going to, we have to import path. Okay, here we have red paint brushes, blue paint brushes, and green paint brushes of the type that they're going to be filling and stroking. And I've also created a variable type path and I've called it square. To save time, I'm going to prep the paint brushes using a method we used in a previous tutorial. I'm going to place them just after the resume method. And we need to import color. You can pause the video there just to copy this across. I will be releasing the code at some point when I've completed the series though. So all of these paint brushes will be prepped once this method is called. And I'm going to call that method just before the loop. So we're not going to be looping and prepping them again and again and again. You only need to do this once. So prep paint brushes. So our paint brushes are ready to ready to paint, but we want to paint a square. And I've already worked out the numbers and the path we need to create. And we're going to have a function, a method called draw square. And it's going to draw a square where the top left point is at x and y both equal to 130 pixels, and the bottom right, both x and y, are going to be equal to 650 pixels. That's currently red because I've not put the, not defined the method yet. And I've created the method in the same way we did when we were drawing the triangles. Here's the method. Draw square, it takes in four integers. We create a new path called square. And then we move to line two and move two to each point in turn. And then finally on the canvas, we draw the path we've labeled square with a green paintbrush stroke. So let's see what this looks like. We'll hit save and run. Here's our app. Let's hit the queen. And here is our green square. And I've made sure that it follows the checkered board around on the, on the proper lines. Let's put another chess piece on the board. I'm gonna put the queen on here. So if we go back to our activity animation layout, let's go to the top. We're going to need to reference the queen bitmap that I've created, the same one I used for the icon. So it's a bitmap and we'll call it queen. We also need to position the queen somewhere. So we're gonna use an integer to track queen x and also one for queen y. We then assign the bitmap in the same way as we did the queen bitmap in the same way as we did the checkered background. So it's queen bitmap factory dot decode resources resource get resources r dot drawable dot queen. And here on the left hand side, you can see just a small icon to remind us what bitmap we have. And I've also calculated the initial position that we want our queen in, which I think is the top right but I don't want the queen standing still. So we're gonna immediately introduce the queen to some motion. And we've done this before with the knight in the previous tutorial. So I'm just rehashing the methods we've used there for the queen. And I'll put it down here under draw square. But instead of randomly moving the chess piece around the board like we did before, I'm moving the queen along the path that we've created. So. I've changed these numbers. So now we have to call the motion and we do that inside our draw loop. So we're going to say motion, queen, and then the speed. Well, actually what this method does, the one we've just defined, only takes care of the coordinates of where the queen should be. So if it hits one corner, it'll change directions and keep going until it changes directions again. So it's a calculation, it's an update of the XY coordinates. And that's done before the drawing. To draw the actual queen, we do that onto the canvas before it's posted. 
So we take the canvas, we draw the bitmap, we name the bitmap we're drawing, and then we put in the coordinates, the X and Y coordinates. And we've offset them by half of the width of the queen bitmap so that the queen sits in the center of the line, of the green line that we've drawn. And that should work. So let's hit save and run. And here she is. The queen is now following the green square that we've created. Now I want to uh, add another character on here. I'm going to create a circle that starts in the top left and chases the queen around the square. Close that. Exit out of that. If we go back into Activity Animation 002, and at the top, well, if I'm making a circle, I want to know its center coordinates. So, circle, int, circle, x, circle, y. And the coordinates of the top left of the green square are circle x is 130, circle y is also 130 pixels. And to update these coordinates for the circle, I've created a method called motion circle and giving it a speed of 10. Motion circle is exactly the same as motion queen. They both follow the square, so we've got the same rules. The next thing we need to do, we've called the update on the XY coordinates for the circle. We need to draw the circle. And we're going to use some built-in uh, commands and canvas to draw the circle. So we're taking the canvas, we're using a, its member method called draw circle. We're passing in the X and Y coordinates that have been updated by motion circle. We're giving it a radius and we're telling it which paintbrush to use and we're using green and we're asking it to fill. And that's it. Let's hit save and run. And here is the queen going around and here is the circle, the green circle chasing the queen. If you notice they're running around a square that's four cubes width, four cubes four by four and they're exactly on that border. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is uh, we've, we've done a great job of animating, putting in coordinates, but we haven't been paying attention to the distribution of different Android device sizes. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to run the app again using Nexus 5 and we've been using the Nexus 4. So let's see what happens when we run on a different device. Now, if you're lucky, Android may resize everything for you correctly, and it does do that for some bitmaps. So here is our app. It's resized the queen bitmap because we I've given it different bitmap images to, for each different resolution, which we've covered in another tutorial. But you can see clearly the path no longer runs across four squares. It's a smaller green square compared to the chessboard. And the circle itself, its diameter is also much smaller than the queen. And in the next tutorial, I'll cover how to translate density pixels and use density pixels when drawing paths and circles. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.